Hi everyone, welcome back here at Sills Corner. I'm so happy to see you again today. This is the second video I've gotten to give you guys this month already on the first. Look at us go and be right on top of it. Um, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that little bell so you don't miss any of future videos. Check out some of my past videos because I promise you'll love them. There, If you like subscription boxes and gift baskets like this, I can guarantee you'll like this channel. I give a little tidbit here and there along the way and I've already done at least one haul um, and a little bit of how-tos on occasion, especially near the holidays, kind of more on those. Um, <laughs> I'm a mother, I'm a stay-at-home mother, I should say, of a large family. I do my best to raise them how I would want them to be able to be like in the future if that makes sense i want them to be nice honest open people that are caring and loving and very well-rounded um now i love gift baskets as much as subscription boxes i mean i've got an issue when it comes to them because it's always like getting a new surprise or it's your birthday or christmas or some other holiday because it's like you're getting tons of gifts and especially with subscription you get a new one every month which what could be better than that and for me, gift baskets need a little shout out too because you spend your hard-earned money, you buy a new one for a family or a loved one or maybe even yourself if you see something you really like, which right now, because I'm still trying to set up my house over the last few years, it's been really rough. So I never got the chance to really, I don't wanna say girlify, but make the house really feel like a honest to good home, organize the little extra flair and knickknacks. I'm just starting to, you can see in the back, and we're finally going to get to maybe move soon. We're hoping, maybe not for a few months, a little further away, but finally into a nice house that we can all fit in instead of kind of cramped like we are. Means tons of more possibilities. So if you're getting those gift baskets to maybe heartwarming or home warming or any of those things, or even just to make someone feel better or put a smile on them, I think I got an absolutely amazing one for you because especially if thinking of moving into some place if you have a friend or family member that's moving in and especially if they like to cook because this goes in that category too this would be an amazing gift basket for them to get um this is the mccormick gourmet collection spice rack now this comes with at least 24 spices to set and the wooden rack that would gorgeously hang on the wall i do a lot of research before i put anything on this channel and I always feel that if it's good enough to fit in my house or for my family, then it would be good enough to give a thumbs up and to show someone else so that they can hopefully experience the joy of it and know that it's worth their hard earned money. But I always give you the truth. So if I open it and I am disappointed, which I have been with a few of the gift baskets I received in that's in one of the subscriptions at least. Um, I will tell you the honest truth, but I am super excited about this. I couldn't wait for this to come in the mail. You can find this on Amazon and it was, let me see, and it was a little bit pricey, but you are getting a wooden shelf. A lot. So most times if you're doing that, you know you're gonna spend a little bit for the shelf just because furniture or in any form is expensive. But this also comes with the spices and it's $80.75. And like I said, you can find this on Amazon. Um, I'm not quite sure how to share the links yet, but I'll see if I can figure it out again and if not put it down below But I'll put all this information down below. So without further ado Why don't we crack this baby open and let me tell you if you go to order it. It is so Heavy it honestly feels like you got a pile of books or definitely tell a small piece of furniture in here There, there you go as you can see it's quite a large box as well and let's just take a moment to admire the outside I mean it didn't come in a plain white box, as you can see. It's got this gorgeous, like, um, plain feature here, and then, like, around the world, because that's another feature to this box. It's not just the spices you will get to see in everyday life, you know, at the store, just instantly. It's, see, it's got, like, um, Mexico and India and um, Egypt here, and it's got, like, a little compass there at the end. Absolutely amazing box, and the... Um, design actually goes all the way around 
so that I like. But like I was saying, this is actually spices from around the world. They At least that's what they claimed in the description. That you get 24, some basic normal ones for your area. Well, America here. And then a few from around the world, which for me was, ooh, and I love McCormick spices. I don't know what it is, and I'm probably not saying their name right, but I've used them since I was a kid, and I actually, till this day, still love them. So let's open it. All I did was cut the tape. Um, I was honestly afraid that if I, ooh, this is backwards. <laughs> if I opened it, I wouldn't have made it to a video. It would have went straight up on my wall and then kind of ruined the whole thing. So I kept this one hidden for me until then, because I know how I am. Okay, ooh, yep, you can see right there, and as you can tell, they're in their glass cases, and it looks like the wooden shelf is actually already built, which I definitely appreciate. I kind of wasn't expecting it to, because most things nowadays don't come pre-built. That explains why heavy it is. But here, as you can see, um, we've got ground turmeric, and I'm going to take them and put them out here, because I think the only way I'm going to be able to get the shelf out is to take them out. Um, and then we got celery seed and paprika. Too bad that's not um, smoked paprika. I've been looking everywhere for that and I can't seem to find anyone that's got it in stock. Um, rub sage. This is white ground white pepper. I love the different colors of peppers and the different spices that it gives. This is the Turkish bay leaves. This is ground Saigon cinnamon. So they are a little twist of it, like maybe some of the ones you're used to, but from a different area, which I like. This is crushed, crushed rosemary, which I like because most places when you have rosemary comes, you know, in those whole dried out ones. And then you have to kind of crush them yourself for a lot of recipes. And then we got another normal one or oregano, onion, I mean, garlic powder, which is a, I swear, everyday use in my house. And then this is ground coragrana. Coragrana. I know I ain't pronounced that right, but I know what I meant. Hopefully you can figure out what I meant with that one. Ground cumin. It's one of my favorites and actually the recipe I do for enchiladas. I actually had that last night for my family. Um, this is dill. Uh, ba, ba, ba. <laughs> dill wee. Ground nutmeg. Cayenne pepper, that's really good in some food. Ground mustard. Um, come on, they are in there tight. Red curry powder, oh, I've been wanting to make curry, curry, and I have never made it before from scratch, so that will be a huge help. Italian seasoning, another everyday use in my house. What is this, ground ginger. I love that when I make the Japanese cuisine that I do a lot. Um, fennel seed. I don't think I've ever used this one in it. I know it's a pretty common one, but it's not one I don't think I've ever used. Maybe you can leave a comment down below if you know a recipe that takes one of these spices in it that you absolutely love. I absolutely love getting new recipes. I try pretty much any recipe at least once. So leave me your favorite recipes down below and maybe I'll share one of my favorites with you in the, around the same area. Um, and then we got thyme, oops, ground cadonium. I know what it's supposed to be. I've used it before in some recipes, but me and pronunciation just, yeah, not going to happen. <laughs> Two more. We got toasted sesame seeds, always useful. And the last one, basil. Okay. Definitely like a nice starter pack if someone's just moving in, maybe their first apartment. Okay, let's see if I can, no, that's, I have to figure out how to break this out of here. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, almost had it. There we go. Oh, wow, that is pretty, and that is solid wood. Oh, that has definitely got some weight to it. Have to anchor it down pretty well to the wall. But that's what that looks like. As you can see, it's pretty tall. It's got one, two, three shelves on it with the little back brace. Um, that's real wood. It's got a nice medium stain, which is a, what I like. I like medium to dark stains. The real light wood, for some reason, just don't go in my house. I have a lot of, like, black type wood or 
deep cherry and stuff like that so something like this is definitely right up my alley because you can actually tell from the background like my DVD rack and heck even the kids school whiteboard that I have back there the around the frame is that and that's like the lightest thing in my house I think but there's that and on the back and as you can see it's actually already got some built-in hanger things that you can put like a little screw or nail through there I mean this doesn't feel like it is going anywhere once I get it up on the wall I'll take some more pictures I'll take some pictures of this normally but once I get up on the wall I will guarantee take some more pictures and hang it for you um because I'm so excited to get this up like ee. I needed more space I'm a huge cooker so I have right now two of those little like shelves that you sit next to the fridge I've got two of those full plus a drawer full of spices and I swear I use them all <laughs> I cook so much um, but anyways I'm sorry I bet I go on little rants here and there about things usually fun rants like that but it's just me like I said I like talking to you guys like you're one of my friends part of my family so um, I hope you like this gift basket I know it was one of my favorite that I've done and it for $80 a little over 80 like 81 if you want to round up this was definitely worth it for me because just this alone I would have probably paid that for and the fact that it came with all the spices too makes it a wonderful idea for a home warming gift or even something for yourself if you're trying to spruce up your house like I am um, do me a favor hit the subscribe button tell your friends and family about us because I can't wait for our family here to keep on growing I love sharing content with you guys and talking with you guys and once our channel grows a little more I'll actually do some live videos and I'll be actually doing a few other little types of videos I'm just kind of waiting for this to get going a little bit like when we hit at least a hundred subscribers a hundred to two me and my husband keep going back and forth when we should do that um, I'll actually start doing giveaways to you know little things I get from the basket that maybe I get doubles of and my kids wouldn't want or just little things I'd buy like this just because and give away as a gift um, but I want to get some more subscribers so that it's a little bit more fun with more people so <laughs> definitely hit the subscribe button tell your friends or family hit that little like button to help support this channel I love you guys and I can't wait to see you again I'll see you again on Wednesday because I do shoot videos every Tuesday Wednesday and Friday if my subscriptions keep on growing like they have been for the last two months tons of new ones coming in each month I might actually start expanding my video range and I might end up doing like maybe Monday through Friday or something like that I'm not sure yet though um, but I'll see you all again here on Wednesday. Can't wait. Love you guys. <laughs>